Hello, this is Dr. Rehab Director. Today I'm going to talk about basic function and basic parts of wheelchairs. Uh, wheelchairs are all over the healthcare system, regardless of the setting. Nursing home, hospital, you know, no matter where you go, you're going to see a wheelchair. Um, and not everybody knows how to use it. Although on the therapy side, we should always educate the patient and educate the family member as to how to use it. We don't always do. So um, if you have a situation where you or a loved one needs to use a wheelchair, make sure that somebody shows you how to use it correctly, not just how to maneuver it, but also how the, bot, the, the, the parts function so that you can um, use it safely once uh, you're at home. So the reason I want to talk about that is because, uh, A, as a healthcare provider, I see it all the time, but recently I had a situation where um, somebody was like really tangled up and they were about to like just throw the wheelchair away or you know hit somebody with the leg rest. So I figured this would be a good way to have something out there, a little resource for any family member, any person that needs to use a wheelchair. Just get a quick idea of how to maneuver these these parts so that uh, nobody gets hurt. Uh, all right, this is Dr. Rehab Director. Let me know what you think. So there's different types of wheelchairs. This is a standard wheelchair, and the main thing is that I'll show you a little bit about the parts that it has and how these parts work. Most of the wheelchairs you'll encounter have the same type of parts. They just kind of look a little bit different, but you know, first that's really important is the brake. As you notice, when you pull on this lever, it catches the wheel. There's a little bit of of a click to it usually and if you've done it correctly it catches and then to remove it you just simply flip it away and now it's mobile sometimes they get loose and they need to be tightened up if you can always have that done sometimes your brakes will be in the back this one doesn't have brakes but it makes it easier for whoever is assisting the resident to maneuver uh, here is, are the leg rests. There's different types of leg rests. This is a calf pad. It supports a, the lower leg of the person so they're more comfortable. You can swing it away as you can see. Um, you have the foot plates. Foot plates can be flipped away if needed. As well, they help with somebody getting on and uh, in and out of the chair. Um, some leg rests elevate, some do not. These are elevating leg rests. So as you can see, there's a little bar here. So that'll unlock it, but to elevate, you simply mix it up. And that helps out somebody that needs to have their leg elevated because of circulation or just for comfort as well. Sometimes it helps with the positioning of the person to lower the leg rest. You just go to that same lever here, and it'll take two hands, uh, but when you click on it, it'll swing down, and then they're back down. The length of the leg rest can be adjusted by these push button pins here. It allows you to bring the leg further out or further in, depending on the length of the leg. Obviously, there's cushions that can go on the chair, and we'll cover those at another time. One thing that people tend to have trouble with usually is how to get the leg rest on. Which surprisingly is one of the trickiest things for people to do. People always get tangled up with the leg rest more than anything else in a wheelchair. They don't know how to make it move away, they kind of trip over them, so uh, uh, make sure you, you check, if, if nothing else you get that out the way. And, uh, there's a little lever here that allows the leg rest to swing away. And that gets him out of the way for somebody who's getting in and out of the chair. Now, when you're going to take him off, a lot of people try to lift them directly, and they seem to get stuck. It doesn't seem to work quite well that way. So when you're going to remove them or putting them on, it's easier to move them at least halfway, and they'll slide right up. Same thing if you're bringing them on. You just make sure that they align with the notches and then you make sure they're secure. So as you can see, these little notches are the key. So you move the away and you 
Come off the notches. The holes go right there. As long as you make that catch. Then this will go all the way through and catch on there. Um, there's other objects that can be placed and I'll show you that now. In the back of the wheelchair, sometimes there's equipment that will allow oxygen to hang. Um, then you might see these little pieces here. You can install different components. These are anti-tippers. They have a push button system. Which allow them to be slipped in as needed. By doing so, it prevents the chair from tilting back. If you have somebody who has a change center of gravity, um, or who tends to plop on the chair, or for whatever reason there's a risk of the chair tilting on them. This part here is the armrest. They can go up and down as you can see there's levers here that allow it to elevate or decrease based on the patient's needs. Some of the armrests completely come off. This is a flip away armrest which means it tilts away. Just press in there and you move it back. That allows the person to get in and out usually with a sliding board or if they're not able to come fully upright that clears the path to make it easier to come in. This is a high back wheelchair. As you can see it has a higher support. And what that does with these levers here it allows the wheelchair to lay back. There's various types of other wheelchairs as well. I kind of added the quickie and the transport chair here for you to look at, but just be aware there's others. However, the parts and the function of the parts that we've covered um, are pretty much the same regardless of the type of wheelchair. Um, so I'm looking forward to your comments and hopefully uh, for, for your feedback on any of these uh, videos. Don't forget, hit that like button, hit subscribe, and stay tuned. Feel free to drop me any messages about future topics you want me to address. I'll be glad to do so.